The family of 13-year-old Nia Wims said the effects of being falsely accused of a crime are immense and that when the system gets it wrong, no one wins. I feel distanced. Like, I really don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> Nia was arrested in November for threatening to blow up her school. Authorities said they saw the messages on Instagram, but later determined they'd been sent by someone else at the school. Someone who'd been bullying Nia for some time. A re time. A revelation that came two months after the child's arrest. To be honest, at first when the officers told me um, it's her and we have evidence, I was so against her, you know, and I felt bad knowing that it wasn't her. On Wednesday, a lawsuit was filed against Renaissance Charter School at Pines and Meta, which owns Instagram. The suit claims the family gave Nia's iPad to police the day of the arrest so they could look up the IP address and see the messages had been sent by someone else. Quote, failure to promptly investigate this easily discoverable information by the Pembroke Pines police caused Nia to remain in a juvenile facility away from her family for 11 days.